Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Country of the Week. This week we are going to the largest country in the world. We're going to Russia. Okay, we're going to start our video with our fast facts. So, fact number one. Russia is one of only two countries in the whole world to span two continents. Part of it is in Europe and part of it is in Asia. Fact number two. Russia is the largest country in the world and it spans 11 time zones and 17,125,200 kilometers squared. Wow. Fact number three. The capital of Russia is in the European part of Russia. It is called Moscow. Fact number four. The official language of Russia is Russian, but there are 35 other official languages in particular parts of the country. Fact number five. The flag of Russia looks like this. Now, as we've said, Russia is a huge country with so many different landscapes and cities to explore. We can't visit everywhere, so we'll just pick a few as we go on tour. Okay, we're going to start our tour in the northwest of European Russia, in a city called St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg used to be the capital of Russia and it is famous for its culture, its art galleries, its museums and its theatres. St. Petersburg has always been such an important city in the country of Russia that it's actually been renamed three times. Right, from the old capital to the current capital, we are going to head south to Moscow. Moscow is famous for its beautiful buildings and historic architecture. For example, this building is the Kremlin, which is where the government sits in Moscow. Did you know that living in Moscow today, there are 73 billionaires and the city is home to one of the world's most expensive shopping streets. Okay, we're now going to head 1,600 kilometers south of Moscow, bypassing many big cities, such a big country, until we arrive at the city of Sochi. Sochi is fringed by the Caucasus Mountains on one side and the Black Sea on the other. It's a very popular place to go on holiday, both in summer and in winter. And in 2014, it hosted the Winter Olympic Games. Back inland and north we go to a city called Kazan. Kazan is famous again for some beautiful buildings and lots of history. In particular, it's home to the Kul Sharif Mosque. When this was built, it was one of the biggest mosques in the whole of Europe. Right, now we are going to travel deep into the heart of a huge part of Russia. This place is called Siberia and it covers 13.1 million square kilometers of Russia. It's no wonder then that it's got lots of different landscapes within it. You will find tundra, forests, huge mountain ranges, and the world's deepest lake, Lake Baikal. Even though Siberia is so big, there are so few people who live here that if you spread everybody out, there would only be three people per every square kilometer. To the far east of Siberia, you will find the Kamchatka Peninsula. This stretch of land is a remote wilderness that is covered from snow from October all the way through to May. And it is home to some huge brown bears. In the far southeast of Russia, you will find the port city of Vladivostok. This city lies on the border with North Korea. Yes, that's right, Russia is so big, we are now in Eastern Asia and on the Pacific Ocean's coast. Vladivostok is famous for being the end of the Trans-Siberian Railway, which runs all the way from Moscow through Siberia to Vladivostok. It is also particularly famous for being a centre for education in Eastern Russia and is home to lots of universities, colleges and scientific institutes. Hello there, Mr Sawyer here, the history expert. 
nice to see you. How are you? Have you been? I, I can't hear you, obviously. Um, I'm going to tell you the history of Russia now, and I'm going to do so in 60 seconds or fewer, less, fewer. It's complicated. <laughs> The name Russia comes from the Rus Vikings, who ruled an early Russian kingdom called Kievan Rus. The capital was located in Kiev, which is in modern-day Ukraine. In 1237, the Mongols arrived and destroyed many of the Russian cities. Much of the area was ruled by the Mongols for over 200 years, when in 1480, Ivan III finally freed Russia. His grandson, Ivan the Terrible, became the first Tsar, or Emperor, of Russia in 1547. Peter the Great, brilliant name, established St. Petersburg, also brilliant name, in 1703, and it became the capital city ten years later. The empire continued to expand over the next few hundred years, absorbing areas around it. In 1917, as Russia was fighting in the First World War, the Bolshevik Revolution abolished the monarchy and set up a new communist system, the Union of Soviet and Socialist Republics, or USSR. They had a fierce rivalry with the USA during what is known as the Cold War, and had some pretty nasty rulers in their time, most infamous of whom was Joseph Stalin. Ah. We've had lots of brilliant facts all about Russia so far in this week's Country of the Week. Now it's time for five fun facts all about Russia. There are 79 billionaires that live in the capital of Russia, which is Moscow, like you've already learned. And until two years ago, Moscow was the city with the most billionaires. But in 2020, New York City overtook Moscow. I wonder how many billionaires live in Birmingham? Happy birthday. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Happy Thank you. Very kind. You. Very kind. Happy birthday. Oh, how embarrassing. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Happy birthday <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Except it's really not my birthday. It's, it's not my birthday. You're too early. And that reminds me, in Russia, they believe if you say happy birthday before someone's birthday, it's not only extremely rude, but you are also giving that person bad luck. So make sure you always give your birthday cards on the actual day, or even later is better than earlier. Children in school in Russia are taught not to smile, except only to friends and family because that way it shows that you're in control and it shows that you're more powerful. But don't get confused, Russian people are actually really friendly, even if they don't smile. There are 12 active volcanoes in Russia and that means any of those volcanoes could erupt at any moment. A volcano known as is one of the largest in the whole of Eurasia and it has erupted 50 times in the last 200 years. When I am, um, when I played, did it, did it look like that I was saying that on camera? Yeah? Okay, cool. I mentioned earlier that 79 billionaires live in Moscow, the capital of Russia. And there's a game that they've invented called Helicopter Golf where the player not only drives the helicopter, but also knocks a one meter wide ball over the snowy hills and into a hole. It looks like a really fun sport to play. Now all I need to do is find a friend who has a helicopter so I can play that game. So there you have it. There are your five fun facts all about Russia for this week. Join me next time for some interesting and bizarre facts about another country. See you next time. These videos just keep getting better and better. They really do. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this week's Country of the Week all about Russia. Check in the description box below for some interesting activities to do at home and make sure you keep up to date with your fabulous presenters. Check Mrs. Osborne Breer's Twitter account, Mr. Sawyer's Twitter account and Mr. Power's Twitter account. That's all from us this week. Join us next time for another Country of the Week. <laughs>